Kind 
of law. And uh, the way you are going now has bribed me from the questions I have. One, we have love in marriages. And the two, we have love in families. And from 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 8, our statement, which says, we have, love doesn't. We have read that place now. Say what you want to say. We have read it. Love doesn't think it evils. What I'm trying to say is, we are discussing of how can we abide love in families or oh, I mistake. If we are talking how we can abide the love in the entire family, it's not only marriage family, in the entire family. That's where I'm trying to go. I don't know whether I'm misquote or misunderstood. But you are not talking of love, marriage, love. No, it's family. Marriage is family. Once you are married, you have a family. Is it not true? Yes, sir. Okay. As I have written here, as my questions, wisdom is not for all. Most wives does not know where God located her in the final home. What I'm trying to say, most of our wives today in marriage does not know that where she married is her final home. And when she comes in there, kata kata and everything start coming. What causes it? Is the ignorance of our men telling histories of the past to their wives. Somebody who is not up to three or four months in marriage cannot tell the histories of three to five years ago. Those things bring problems in the family. And again, ideology of transformation from one family to another. What do I mean by ideology? You are in your own family before a man came to marry you. You cannot force your husband to behave as your people of your own family behaves. Whatever condition you met where you married, you follow it up. Is it not true? So most of our wives based on this. And all these things causes problems in the family. Then in order to create love in the family, as this our brother who traveled them, he said, look at what he has done, and we have clapped, it's a good thing. And I'm advising also our women here. Don't come to marriage or you marry and you want to know the foundation of the family. Just build that love to that man you look to marry. And when you love only your husband, it's no good. When you marry in the family, you love every member of the family. Okay. And make the family go okay. forward. Thank you. Okay, so we have gotten you. We have gotten you. But what I want to say, when a woman is married, and he reach as a sister, he reach to the family. There is problem in the family, or maybe they are worshiping idol. The sister is not compelled to follow them to worship idol. There are some families you will enter. You see them; they are worshiping idol. Yes, they say, but you are to the part of the idol. And they say this is what we do in this family. And there is an idol worship. If the sister says no, si la soeur dit non, she is right. Elle a raison. And God will stand by her. Et Dieu va la soutenir. And we defeat them. Et il va les vaincre. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's not looking into the family because la famille, whatsoever that is not of God, donc tout ce qui vient pas de Dieu, tu dois le détester. Even a married wife or a married woman. Même une femme mariée. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So any other thing? Autre chose? Okay, sir. Praise the Lord. 
uh, I want to make a point of what, uh, what I say about uh, family. You know, we're supposed to learn a lot of things through this uh, issue. Sometimes when you came into the family, so that a, a woman that's married, maybe is married of a year, some, some problem in the history of the family, the husband will tell him, tell her everything. Maybe some, sometimes the woman will be provoked. Maybe the brother of the, the, the husband, he starts bringing out such words that his brother will be afraid.